Camera one, okay, action. Hello, I'm Heinz Pick from Social by Heinz Pick in the world of Astoria, Dubai, Palm Chumera. I like to go out, going into the city and being back here in Dubai, it's very beautiful, full of history full of art, full of movement. The surroundings are inspiring you very much. Oh, it's just fantastic, yeah? You see, uh, I actually wanted to become an artist and wanted to make art college, but my father didn't allow me. He was saying, I should study something serious. So I became a chef, yeah? You know, if a uh, photograph is taking a Pulitzer or a Spotler is getting the gold medal. It's the same for us chefs getting the third star. For sure, it's a very, very memorable situations. Food really helps you to communicate. So for this, it's uh, uh, important to make a very beautiful cooking and a very nice uh, home uh, shami service helping you uh, to uh, feel good. This is for me the most important coming to my restaurant. One of the first things what we are doing uh, in all our restaurants, we were going to local producers as well because it's much more fresh, it's tasting different and uh, doing in, uh, certain dishes I need these flavors. Hi, my name is Mohamed. I'm the CEO and founder of My Farm Dubai. We are in the middle of desert and we are a sustainable and organic farm. How are you? Hello. Good. Welcome to the farm. We are an organic farm specialized on uh, heirloom tomatoes. Let me show you some. Yeah. So this is the uh, Italian uh, Costoluto de Fiorentini. We, we give as much less water, so it's going to increase the flavor of the tomato. It's nice smell, a nice perfume. Yeah. The smell has to be nice now when you harvest. So when you cook, it's going to make like an explosion, emotion. No, but it's a very nice way of doing it. Eh? Thank you. We keep it as much as possible uh, natural. In a forest, nobody clean, nobody plant, nobody give water in the forest, but you cannot see the light. The density is high. That's exactly what I try to produce here. So here we, we, we put it, uh, 25 types of tomatoes on 30 lines. So each variety is different. This one is a uh, yellow cherry, very, very sweet tomato. This is uh, what we call the berry. And then I would like to you to try what we call the caviar of the tomato. This happens only with this tomato. It's, uh, it's going to dry on, on, the plant. on the plant. It's very difficult to find it, but when we find, we are very happy. Since how long you start to produce them? I came to the country with 150 varieties from my family. Some seeds, I didn't know anything about those, but they want me to start to work on it, to adapt it to the local area, to produce locally and uh, fresh. This is very interesting. Uh, a part of the tomato varieties, what do you have? We have the carrots, the turnips, we have uh, different types of herbs. Let me Let's show you some. Around, uh, it's not only nice to see the beautiful job, but what I was very impressed in was the quality of what is able to produce in this strange environment. As you can see, the desert is not uh, fertile. So we did like a kind of forest soil. For that, we prepared for during one month 500 cubic meter of handmade compost. And after that, we added to the land 50 centimeter deep and we let it ferment for nine months. After nine months, we started to plant the first seed. So this one is, uh, this is uh, a wild parsley. And you see how is, uh, how is the taste? It's tender, the flavor is nice, it's not stronger. And you see, we don't give water to the you see the system is here, it's almost uh, dry. So here we have, uh, we have a mix of uh, uh, different uh, carrots. Not one carrot is similar. Of course. And you, smell, you can smell it from now. We don't use any cooker or any machine. Yeah. We have the sunlight, so we dry naturally. And here are the different type of chilies. The, at the beginning, they are not spicy, they are not strong. This one, you know, maybe this one. You, I invite you to smell this one, is Espelette. 
It's one of the best uh, chili of the world. Sweet, huh? Yes. We are very, very pleased having got this introduction of your beautiful farm and it's beautiful to see so passionate people doing uh, this great work. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. I think if you do things with passion, you will have always success because you put your heart, your soul into the project and then I saw this in this very nice and beautiful man who was living his life for his form. I was trying to uh, put all the emotions into who I got in this morning when I was sitting in front of this beautiful nature and for me creating a dish is very important because after the inspiration the real work is starting. Ingredients uh, to me is very very fundamental because only if you have high quality food you can make high quality dishes. The mixing together of flavors. The flavor has to give emotions and behind this flavor, analyzing the nutrition part, there has to be the well-being. And if these two things are working together, then we can start to make a dish. And then it's starting the artistic way of creating the dish. You have to look how the spaces are determined on the plate, how it will be arranged, how is the perspective of the guest looking to it, what will be the right colors to give a sense of health and a sense of a fresh and a sense of a beauty. You have to understand how to organize it on the plate and then you will have a beautiful, healthy, tasting dish which is given a lot of emotions. You know, there are some analog things because both the restaurant and cinemas are uh, going on stage. I like very, very much uh, cinema as well, you see. Every day is different, you know. Every film is different. Uh, it, make, it made the dream the people about having fun and uh, well, people were behind working very tough to give you these moments, yeah. And it's about living the moments, you see. Then, you know, I like to go in museums with all the inspiration of colors or in and developing of colors. And this is, of course, uh, giving you an uh, experience very deep. Make open your mind, yeah? Make you inspire from your surrounding because from more far away the inspiration is coming from, more different will be the the result of your new creations. So be open, capture everything what is surrounding you, and then it will turn back positive in your life and positive in your uh, creativity. A nice uh, phrase from Andy Warhol, who was a very great artist, yeah? And he says, an artist is a person who is doing things well, like a person who cooks well. Cut.